I started my channel last year, I never thought and knew to continue vlogging since, you know, the pandemic has been giving me the insights and the time to be creative aside from, my, aside from my work and not only work but aside from uh, things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is a story that I want to share to you and how I managed to be creative for the whole year. It, it's not all about luck, it's all about consistency and practice on a day-to-day -day basis. I always love to create new stuff. I even draw sometimes just to give me time to reflect on myself and of course journaling helps me um, do and dump my creative minds into a piece of paper so I can you know one day when I try to recall all of the things that I wanted to do and continue to be creative then I'll just come back to the notebook to my journal and you know read through and maybe I can get something else for my future content. When I started vlogging I knew that I can speak and write and be creative and do something else. Sometimes I do get sidetracked with something else but you know this video is all about my experience as a creative person and how to overcome creative mental blocks. So keep watching if you want to learn more. Hi, my name is Ernest and of course I love sharing with you my thoughts through lifestyle, awareness, travel and gratitude. There is something in this voice of us and the feeling that, you know, that's stopping us or stopping me and I keep on thinking, does it really happen to me or does it happen to everyone else? Being creative in so many ways is a tool that needs to be nurtured consistently and of course with a lot of patience and practice. So unleashing your creative minds can have benefits with your work and the things you do, of course, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you will have the power to create and speak or even write. So for me, creativity is about interconnections between concepts that you acquire throughout your life. You know, the more information our brain receives, the more connections it will establish. I always love to read and I'm so curious and learn and just anything in particular. I love watching movies and I also like to listen to people's stories and I think one of these benefits is also you get a chance to really um, involve to their own stories and be creative and it also it why they're understanding to anything else by being understanding it's also a great idea you'll have connections to the people as well. You know, in life we can't be a machine. We are human, a living organism that exists and it doesn't make sense to keep pushing your brain to the limit. So I have a tips that I do, which is I have tested and proven from last year. And I'm sure this will also help you and it can also benefit you on how to overcome those crazy blocks. So one technique I normally love to do is the breathing exercise. So I always breathe and you know be aware of my surrounding. I always remind myself that it will pass and it's okay not to be 100% okay all the time. Breathing is one of the most important techniques that we need to learn in our everyday life. We sometimes forget to breathe properly or we are not really aware of what we're doing. Breathing can make you relax and lower your stress level because when we breathe, Deeply, it sends a message to our brain to calm down and relax. So take a break and step away from your work. You know, sometimes you just need a good old break to recharge your energy or to recharge your creativity. Um, it makes sense to take a break, right? So there are a lot of things that are bothering us and by taking a break from your own creative side it will refresh your mind soon after and it's all about balance and for those of you 
I also like to be aware of my space and One technique as well is change up your creative space. By changing your creative space, it will refresh your perspective. It will calibrate your mind, do some tidying up of your space, or you know even throw away stuff that is bothering in your space. I like to move my desk from time to time in order for me to have a fresh perspective of my working space, including working outside under the sun, if you have a garden, or just sitting down in a cafe where it will feel like you are in a new environment to take a trip somewhere that is comfortable for you. This also reminds me of things that I can do outside of my house or my workspace. And I also like to socialize. I mean, when it comes to socializing, you know, with the people you love or go outside for a walk. Now, this is something that really effective. So go out, take a break, call a friend, have a bit of a rant. I also love hanging out with friends to reflect and do a bit of shopping and socialize. It's good to laugh and exchange conversations, which is also fun. And of course, very um, immersive. And a walk around your surrounding area like in a park is an example where you can sit in a bench and just listen to your favorite music while enjoying the nature. So that is one thing that I also love to do when you know creative blocks hits me. So I like to breathe, I like to change up my space where I'm working, I like to take a walk, I like to just you know just to recharge my energy and my brain. And sometimes taking a break, it doesn't have to be 30 minutes or 10 minutes. Sometimes I like to take a break for a week or two to give myself a time and of course patience and of course good for your wellness. On my everyday day-to-day -day tasks, you know, I normally sometimes don't overthink it, but what I do is, you know, I do something else creative. If I can't do my script on a day-to-day -day basis or I can't do scripting today, if, it, if my brain is not working properly in terms of the words that I'm putting through to the paper and to the pen, then I stop and then I'll just give myself a time to recover and then I do something else. I like to watch a movie and I also like to just be with myself or me time to reflect on a day and then come back on the next day. It's the same thing when I edit my videos through my vlog. I like to edit in one whole day sometimes or one whole night on my free time and then come back again another day just to give a bit of a fresh look of the new idea that has been put through. And lastly, it always give me these motivations from Steve Jobs that the only way to do great work is to just love what you do and if you haven't found it yet you know just keep looking and don't settle so that's it the best way to really look at the perspective of you know refreshing your mind if you have mental blocks during your creative time so don't settle, just keep looking, keep doing it, and just be appreciative of your work and your value. So don't beat yourself up. So there you go. And of course, if you're new here to my channel, thank you so much for making it through to the end of this video. And you know, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button, like, and of course, share. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again in the next episode. And then bye for now.